Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. If you would like to see how I made this little trinket box to go with my navy and gold painting, then please keep watching. Okay, you guys, so for today's DIY, I'm going to be making um, these little boxes uh, so that they match my blue and gold bling canvas art that I just did. So I'm just going to run through quickly a few of the items that I'm going to be using. Uh, I may eliminate some, I may add some, but basically they're going to be the same as the painting. So I picked up these really cute boxes from Dollarama. They were uh, $4 a piece. And I quickly went out to my garage. I had a very small window um, to spray paint because it was, it was pretty warm and it was when I got back from Costco. So I just went ahead and I spray painted the front of these gold. For the feet, I removed, I just wanted to make sure that I could remove the feet easily enough on, on them because I don't like, I don't like these little guys, right? And I'm going to be using the um, the little silver napkin rings. Uh, I think I got these at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be using four of them because I'm going to be gluing these two boxes together. And as well, I went out quickly and I spray painted them gold in my very short window. Summer is coming and then I'm going to be able to use spray paint and resin. I can't wait. So, and then I'm going to be using the gold mini mirror tiles that I picked up at Dollarama for $1.25 a piece. And you guys, if you can't find them at Dollarama, you for sure can get them off of Amazon. And then I'm gonna be using this gold bling wrap that I got from uh, probably Dollarama. And I'm going to be using the same uh, glitters that I used for my, for my painting. It's going to be the fine, extra fine gold and the chunky gold. And I'm going to be using a little bit of the blue and the gold crushed glass. It's filler glass, um, decorative filler for vases. And the gold spray paint that I used was this Krylon Metallic. But you can use any gold that you want, right? And I'm also going to be using some navy blue paint. So I will leave a complete list in my description box below. The first thing we're going to do is paint our boxes. And I'm going to, just a little word of caution, these boxes, you guys. Um, you could sand them down a little bit, but sometimes you will, if you're not careful, you'll get a sliver in your finger. And leave the feet on while you're painting. Oh, I'm going to hopefully, hopefully you guys, the, um, hopefully the paint won't get sucked into the wood too much but that's okay we're going to be putting a bunch of bling on this anyway so this is the navy blue from craft smart If you've ever painted a dresser and you close the dresser drawer um, there's usually a little bit of a gap so this way if you paint and I've painted a lot of furniture <laughs> in my day so if you if you just paint a little bit inside when you close your um, the little drawers, if there's any kind of a gap, 
you're not going to see bare wood, right? Un unpainted wood. So you're best to just, you know what, go in a little bit. You don't have to go in a lot. Um, and then uh, you're going to be covered, right? I am going to add some Radiant Gold by Craftsmart. And this gold is really close to um, the Krylon gold that I used for the front of the, of the drawer. So we're going to just add a couple of lines of blue here. going to add a little bit of gold. Isn't this a pretty gold, you guys? Oh, it's just, it's gorgeous. I love it. And then that way, if I decide, because I haven't quite decided yet, um, what I'm going to do with my bling, if my paint is how I want it, then you know what? If it's not fully covered with my bling, then how I paint this and if it's showing, it is going to look really, really pretty, right? But you do want to put, if you're going to do um, the blue as the dominant color around your box, you want to do that first. So that's really, really pretty. I'll just add a little blue there. Oh, I'm excited about this, you guys. This is going to look really pretty. And I'm not going to get too carried away. This isn't a painting. Um, guys, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to put a second coat of blue on the back. I'm not going to put gold back there. It's just going to be, it's just going to be blue. So yeah, that's really pretty. So that's all you have to do. Okay, you guys, so I have finished painting the back side, the insides. This is the underside. And then I went ahead and I put a coat of satin Mod Podge um, on the sides, the top here and the sides. I didn't bother putting it on the back. And oh, and I also put um, a seal in the front. And now I'm going to glue the two pieces together. When I pulled the little feet off of this box, it wasn't like this one where they came apart or came off easily. It ended up pulling the veneer up a little bit so before I glue these two pieces together, and if this happens to you, you have to uh, glue these down. Otherwise, it, it'll lift on you. I'm just going to add a little bit of, I don't have a wood glue, but E6000 um, is basically a glue for everything. So I just want to... First of all, add just a dab of glue inside there so it won't lift on me, right? I'm going to also be using um, my glue gun, guys, to uh, so I can keep going. But if you don't have a glue gun, you're going to want to... Uh, let your whatever glue you're using you want you're going to want it to set for the recommended time before moving on and you'll want to place like a, a heavy book or something on it to help um, we're going to put
through and just make sure that it lines up before, especially if you're using a glue gun, just make sure that it's lined up nice and straight. And I had another window of opportunity this morning. I went ahead and I gave uh, the remain the remaining part of my little drawers here a quick spray paint with some gold uh, with the same gold metallic paint. We want to put our um, little feet together, and I am going to use this really pretty uh, bling wrap. There, there's our little feet. Now I want to put the feet on uh, before I go to the next step. And um, you guys, you should um, glue them down with some E6000 or a strong adhesive for this. I'm just going to be using my uh, glue gun. See? Okay, you guys, so now we are going to close up this gap with some of uh, the gold mini mirror tiles from, that I got from Dollarama, and you can buy these off of Amazon. They're a little more expensive. Now, uh, for this, I've, I've went ahead and I have cut, depending on the size of your um, little trinket, trinket box will determine um, the length of your mirror tiles, right? So what I have done is, this is how I want mine to look, is I want a row of two on the outer edges and then a row of three here, and then another row of two, and another row of two. So I had one of my viewers ask me what I did with the um, with the mini tile. So I, I'm just going to show a quick cut here. to do two at the top yeah so they just they cut nicely like that right with a exacto knife I would suggest though you guys gluing these gluing these in place with your e6000 or another tacky glue I'm not going to bother for the sake of this video. I'll make sure that that is as straight as you possibly can get it. looking pretty nice I like it okay you guys so when I turned this right side up and I looked at the gold mini tiles from that angle I did not I did not like this bling wrap I I just didn't like it at all so I decided to um, cover the feet with some mini tiles and very, very easy to put on. And remember, I'm not 
not using glue, you guys. I'm just using the adhesive and I think it's going to be fine, but you can also just put a, a tacky glue on. So yeah, very, very simple, right? Just like that. And this will match my um, little trinket box a whole lot better than the bling wrap. So I'm just going to use my rights. I should scrape off that glue, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go right around the same circle. So I'm just going to put that like so. There. Yes. See that I like that much better. It's a much um, more elegant look. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm so much happier with that. That is really pretty. Okay, perfect. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how well that fit. Um, I just want to put a little bit of mirror, mini mirror tiles on the front. So I'm just going to um, go along the outer edges. Not exactly flush because the box itself isn't, right? Okay, you guys, so in keeping with our painting, I do want to add a little bit of crushed glass and crushed filler glass and glitter, but not a bunch. So I'm going to use the TriArt liquid glass and I'm hoping that I, I just put it in a little cup here I'm hoping that I'll be able to um, do this without putting it into a squeeze bottle but I might have to do that I'll just see how this the first little ones um, work only want to go inside that little crack You know, I put some, just my dollar store glitter, you guys. Just a little bit down there first. I'm not going to bother with the chunky. Uh, then the extra fine gold. I do want a few of the glass, crushed glass. I just picked out um, some of the smaller pieces, you guys, not the big stuff. Because it, we need a little bit on here in keeping with my painting, right? That's the whole idea behind wanting to do a DIY that can match that can match my paintings. That one, I don't like that one, that one's too big. Mm. 
this for sure I want to have quite a bit of blue glitter because there's mostly the gold tile and of course the drawers are painted uh, in the gold so I do want some nice blue glitter in the front here Okay, now on the bottom part here, for weight, I think I want to do three of them. Well, I've got one here and one over here, so I would like to get, uh, get this so that it's over on this side. I'm going to put uh, some more over on this side. First, and when all this is dry, you guys, I will um, just take my vacuum cleaner to it, vacuum out any of the loose crushed glass and glitter. Okay, you guys, uh, once that's all dry, I'm going to vacuum it off and then I will put it in front of my painting and give you a little look. Okay, everybody, so here's the finished look. I think it looks great with that painting. I'm really, really happy the way it turned out. That's not bad for dollar store little trinket boxes. And with the blue and gold glitter and the uh, gold crushed glass and the, just in a few of those leaves in the front, it looks like stained glass. I love it. You could put as much as you want in there or as little, but I thought there was enough bling that I didn't want to get too carried away. And I really like the little feet covered in the gold tiles as well. I'm glad I switched those out. And I did not hardly touch the sides. I was going for uh, minimal as possible. And then here's the top of it. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I'll just take you over to the other side of it. Yeah, this is really cute. If you wanted, uh, you know, for jewelry, you could also, um, like I just painted the inside. I spray painted it gold, right? But you could also put some uh, little gold pieces of felt on the bottom. Yes, I'm very, very happy with that. I think that turned out really well. You know, it took a little bit of time, but you know what? You want something pretty like this. Um, spend a little time doing it. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. So yeah, you guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up. It'll really help my channel. And as always, you guys, I always, always appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. And God bless.